And so I'm out here in Petersburg, Old Town District, and wanted to fly the Evo today. I'm actually under a bridge which has a lot of pillars, so it's the perfect spot to try out the obstacle avoidance sensors on this drone. Let's get into this Evo. So this Evo has 12 omnidirectional computer vision sensors. So what that means is there are two sensors on each side of this drone. There's two in the front, there's two in the back, two on the top, and then two on either side, left and right. Now I know there's a lot of people out there that run this drone through the mill and they try to take this drone through hard obstacles and have it fail. But if you honestly think about how far we've come with these drones, think, think back, back to, to the, the Phantom, Phantom 4. It took a couple versions before you started to get this omnidirectional and it still wasn't perfect. But to see this drone with 360 degree omnidirectional sensors, it's, it's absolutely amazing. So, so that's, that's what I'm, what I'm out here for today. today. I, um, I um, had, a had a request, request to, to actually, actually test, test this, this not, not with the active, active track, track, just to, just to test, test it with the manual, manual flight. flight. Um, um, have no, no doubt, doubt what this drone, drone can do. Um, I was flying yesterday. yesterday. I actually got, got rained out while I was flying the drone yesterday. yesterday but when I was testing it out, it actually was noticing a telephone or electrical wire just above it, which was about 20 feet above it. And these drones, they're not very good at catching wires or small things, but for this guy to have seen that yesterday, I was, I was impressed with it. A couple technical things I want to go through about these sensors. So on this Evo, the forward sensor can recognize an obstacle from 5 meters to 40 meters away, which is pretty awesome. The backward sensor can recognize an obstacle from 5 meters to 32 meters away. The upward sensor is 5 meters up to 24 meters, downward 5 to 22 meters, and the two side sensors can recognize an obstacle from 5 meters to 24 meters. Basically, it gives you time to slow down and slow the drone down before you get too close to any of the sensors. My first drone was a Typhoon H and I had it for about, about a week and I completely totaled it because I ran it into a tree because I knew the tree was coming up but it doesn't stop when I die and I was still new to, to flying these drones. So I flew pretty fast towards that tree and I didn't think about the stopping distance so it's, to have all of these sensors on this drone is is pretty amazing so, so that being that said all, all these sensors, sensors they, they don't, don't have, have a full 360 degree, degree. degree. So the, the forward, forward sensor, sensor has a, a horizontal, horizontal view of 60 degrees, degrees and, and a vertical, vertical view of 80 degrees, degrees. The backward sensor, sensor has a uh, horizontal view of 60 degrees and 80 degrees. The, the, the upward and downward, downward sensors, sensors 60, 60 degrees horizontal by 50, 50 degrees vertical. Alright, so while I've been editing this video, I've learned a lot about this obstacle avoidance and I don't feel I would do it right if I didn't add everything that I've learned into the video that I'm posting now. So it's taken me a little bit to edit and I want to get it right, but I also want to include this stuff. All right, so everything in this video is going to be from two days, some from today and some from the other day when I was in Petersburg. But this obstacle avoidance is pretty in depth. I, the information that I'm giving you guys is just stuff that I've learned. It's not anything that I've looked up or found information about, but I just think it's kind of cool and just wanted to talk about it and test a few things out here in the parking lot. The Evo is going to start alerting you of an obstacle that's 30 feet away. On the radar it's going to show on the radar it's going to show a yellow beacon or just a bar on the top of the screen. The yellow beacon is from 15 to 30 feet. From 10 to 15 feet that beacon turns orange and anything under 10 feet the beacon turns red. 
the Evo is not going to go any closer than eight foot to an obstacle and it really starts to slow down if there's an obstacle within 20 feet of it. It's not going to let you go any more than six miles an hour if there is any obstacles detected within that range. I want to put this Evo up and do a screen record so you can actually see what I'm talking about with this radar system. All right, so it's getting kind of dark. All right, so the sun's getting ready to set. I want to try to get this Evo up very quickly just to show you guys what I'm talking about. And if you turn on the obstacle avoidance, the visual navigation, have that on and the radar map on. So right now I'm seven foot. Right now I'm seven feet away from the drone in the back and it actually sees the church ahead of me and my car to the right. So you turn the drone, you notice I haven't moved but the seven foot follows my position around the radar. And also, you can see, right now I'm about three feet away from the drone, two feet away from the drone, and the whole bar is red. If I step to the right, only half of the bar shows red. Now I've stepped out of the sight of it. So if I come here, the bar will actually follow me. And there, I'm within 10 feet. Once I get past the 10 foot range, the bar will actually show orange. And you can see as it follows me. Now, once I get about 15 feet away, I just want to point this out real quick. Just wanted to point out the moon real quick. It's almost a full moon and it looks beautiful against the, the sky today. Sun setting in the, the sun setting behind the clouds. Anyways, let's get back to this Evo. I caught it. Okay, sorry about that. So, <clears throat> as I was saying, if you see, all right, so if you see I'm within five feet of the drone, the status bar on the top is red. Once I step back to 10 feet, the status bar will actually turn orange. And then once I go back beyond 15 feet, the status bar will turn yellow. Well, I apologize. It's 20 feet. Anything beyond 20 feet, the status bar is yellow.
All right, so with that being said, this drone here is not truly 360 degrees obstacle avoidance. Some, some places in this corner here, the back corner here, may not catch. So if you're going kind of up at an angle, it may not see. There are blind spots on these, on this drone, but for the most part, you're basically covered. But let's put this thing in the air, see how well it does. Okay, so for some reason the microphone on my phone will not allow me to record audio while I'm doing the screen record. So one of the things I've noticed with this is it, it slows down a lot. There's a wide open area here under this bridge. I would say it's probably about 30 feet across. That's just a guess, but this thing goes crazy sensing everything around it. I don't necessarily see that as a bad thing, but it does slow the drone down a lot. So if you need to have if you need to have the drone moving fast for some reason to go through here and you feel like you're capable of handling the drone, you can always turn the sensors off and fly it manually without the sensors you still have the radar you still have the radar on here even if the sensors are off and for the price of this drone I would rather fly slow than run into a wall but anyways I want to test the upward sensors real quick and test the side sensors so far the forward and back sensors have been amazing but Right now I'm going to test the upward sensors and see how that does. Alright, so there's a small pillar here that the Ingo is under. I'm going to hit the... I'm going to hit the sticks up and see how it reacts to this. Alright, so this is something that people need to be very careful of. Alright, so one thing I noticed with this drone, as I was saying earlier, there are blind spots with this Evo. Even though it has 12 sensors on it, it cannot see completely around it. And as I was going up right here under this pillar, the nose of the drone was actually under the pillar, but the sensors were on the back of the drone which was seeing the higher point and it thought it had more room to go. Luckily I noticed it as I was ascending up, but the drone came about one foot away from this pillar. Basically this pillar here, the nose of the drone was under the pillar, but there's an extra, there's an extra probably 10 feet if you catch it in the right spot that the drone would have sensed, but it would have kept going. So if I didn't notice it and was directly under it, the front of the drone, the front propellers may have actually crashed into the, into the pillar. All right, one last thing. This battery is just about finished, but there's one more thing I want to point out. So like I said earlier, there are blind spots on this drone. The front left, front right, back left, and back right corners are blind spots on this drone. I'm going to see what I can do. I have a selfie stick with an Insta360 on it, so it's only about three foot tall. But I'm going to set this down here, and I want you guys to see what I'm talking about. If I fly the drone, and I strafe to the left, and I go forward towards me to where it's coming at an angle, the drone will not see me and it will basically run into me if I don't stop it. But I want you guys to see this, just to see what I'm talking about. I hope you can see this. Drone will not come towards me any further here. But if I turn it sideways, 
Okay, so as I'm editing this video, I wanted to jump in and point something out. By no means am I saying anything bad about this drone. I just want to let you guys know that there is a small blind spot. And Autel actually points this out in the settings of the obstacle avoidance. If you actually notice, there's a point where I have to adjust it to get it in that exact spot. Plus, I'm under a bridge. And the lighting conditions are not that great either but I just wanted to point this out these sensors will do their job but if you get very close to something don't put it in a situation where it's so close and the sensors may not catch something in the right spot just be careful with the drone and fly safe To everyone who has commented on my channel everyone that's given me positive feedback on my videos I'm still new I'm still learning but I really appreciate every bit of interactions you guys give me it's all been positive um, and to me it's very inspiring everything you guys do I really appreciate it All right, so what? All right, so while I was ordering. <laughs>